Ouch. I really feel bad for you, YouTube viewers. Last week, I had a total of seven NFL tips for the Sunday games that I sent to my season package holders, which means those of you that paid to receive all of my tips for the season. Now I won three of them and lost four. And every week, for my YouTube videos, I select a few of them to present to you. And last week, unfortunately, I chose the four that lost. In case you're wondering, the three picks that won last week that I did not tell you about were the Falcons, which actually were my top pick of the week, rated four stars, in New Orleans. I also picked the Jets, and finally the Steelers against the Rams. So hopefully we'll do better this week. Here are three NFL tips for week number 11. My top pick of the week rated four stars goes to the Houston Texans, plus four points at the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens have impressed a lot of people, including myself, with their three most recent wins. 30 to 16 in Seattle, 37 to 20 against the Patriots, and finally, an easy 49 to 13 victory over the Bengals. Lamar Jackson, is such a different animal. No other quarterback matches his elusiveness. He's a lot of fun to watch. However, I like the Texans to cover here. Deshaun Jackson is also very good, and he can make plays out of nothing. Plus, he has more experience. The Texans are a very solid team, and you could not tell they had lost JJ Watt after allowing just three points in their last game. Obviously, I also like the fact that Houston is coming off its bye week. They've had plenty of time to analyze game tapes. Here's one more pick, this time rated three stars. I'm going with the Carolina Panthers minus five points against the Atlanta Falcons. I tip my hat off to the Falcons for such an impressive performance in New Orleans last week. It must have been great relief for head coach Dan Quinn, who has been on the hot seat. With that win out of the way, I expect a letdown for Atlanta, especially against an opponent that simply cannot drop this game. The Panthers are sitting at 5-4, and, and with such a crowded playoff race in the NFC, this is a must-win game for Carolina. They won't let their feet off the gas. Now the revenge factor comes into play, since the Panthers lost both meetings to Atlanta last season. As a matter of fact, the Falcons won by a 7-point margin in Atlanta, and then they won by a 14-point margin in Carolina. That's not gonna happen this year. My third tip this week goes to the Jacksonville Jaguars plus three points at the Colts. I'm really looking forward to seeing Nick Foles at quarterback for the Jaguars. He suffered a broken clavicle in week number one and had to be replaced by Gardner Minshew. The backup QB with the mustache did very well at times, but not so good at others. After a bad performance in London against Houston, head coach Doug Marone decided to make the switch. Both teams have very comparable defenses, with 21 points allowed per game on average. Their offenses are pretty similar too, maybe with a small edge to Indy. But who knows what's going to happen with Foles under center in Jacksonville. Jacoby Brissett is expected to be back at quarterback for the Colts, but his top target, T.Y. Hilton, seems like a long shot to suit up this Sunday. I expect a very tight divisional game in 
which case I'll go with the Jags as three-point dogs. I have to admit that it surprises me that many more people watch my videos presenting picks on NFL games as opposed to NFL player prop bets. Well, maybe I wasn't clear enough when I started sharing those picks, but I believe the player prop bets are much more profitable. You do find some bigger bargains, simply because there's far fewer bettors looking at those lines. So last week, we won 7 bets out of 10. And thus far, since I started sharing those plays, we've won 25 and lost 18. So I strongly encourage you to watch this video once I release it for week number 11. Alright, so once again, I thank you very much for watching and have a great weekend.